Hello there. All right, so one of my young students recently got his first electric guitar and I said, hey man, what's the first song you want to learn on electric guitar? He kind of surprised me. He picked Wipeout by the Safaris. And it sounds a little something like this. Play it and then we'll explain it. So that song is a 12 bar blues in the key of B. And here's our pattern. So all the patterns for the three chords, or the three main chords, the three major chords in the key of B, which are B is the one chord, E is the four chord, and F sharp is the uh, number five chord. So I'm spending most of my time on the number one chord. I'm gonna show you this pattern and it'll translate to the other three chords. All right, so I'm gonna actually walk into this B note. The B note is gonna be on string four, the D string at the ninth fret, but I'm gonna walk into it from a fourth below or a lower fifth of it, which is the F sharp on the ninth fret of string five. I'm gonna start with one low note there, then go to string four and play chromatically fret seven, eight, and nine. So basically I'm walking up from an A chromatically up to a B. There's my first four notes. Then I just need four more notes to complete that pattern. And the next four notes are gonna start with that B note. I'm gonna play it two more times. So I got the first half, that chromatic walk up. I'm gonna play that high note two more times. Skip past this chromatic note in the middle and come back to the seventh fret of uh, string four. And then the last note will be the ring finger back on the ninth fret, the F sharp note on string five. And that's my eight note pattern. So then when I repeat it, I'm ending on the F sharp and then starting on F sharp. So it kind of sounds like I'm just playing that F sharp twice once I start repeating. So you think three notes on the high end, two notes on the low. This is just a cool exercise to do without even thinking about the song. And right hand wise, I'm just using alternate picking because it's gonna come as eighth notes. Now there's eight notes in the pattern and eight eighth notes within a measure, but it actually starts on the and of three. So it's like one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three. The next pattern is going to start on the end of three again. And one and and one. I'm sorry. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I just played that four times in a row. Now I'm ready to move on to the number four chord. So I'm going to play that same pattern, but one grouping of strings towards the ground. So I'm gonna start on the ninth fret of string four and walk chromatically up frets seven, eight, and nine on string three. And then play the same pattern twice. So when I end it, I'm only ending on one single note here. Then I'm rolling it back to the F sharp to go back into a B chord two more times. there on the F sharp. I'm going to roll it back and now I'm going to go up to the number five chord. So watch this one. This one varies from the other two patterns. I'm going to roll back over to this B note on the ninth fret of string four. And instead of walking up chromatically this time, I'm going to hit this D note at the seventh fret of string three. Then I'm going to hit the E note at the ninth fret of string three and go up to this F sharp note on the 11th fret of string three. So that's B, D, E, F sharp. Now once I get to that F sharp, you're gonna notice the similarity in the pattern. I hit it once and then I'm gonna hit it two more times. Come down to the ninth fret 
and then the 11th fret of string four. Roll that ring finger back over to string three and you completed its phrase. So you got and four and one and two and three, four. It's the only time we have uh, quarter notes in there. And one and two, uh, sorry, and four and one and two and three, four. Then I'm gonna move it back two frets to my left and I'm back on the number four chord, the E chord. One and two and, I'm uh, sorry, yeah. One and two and three. So I'm just playing the, again, the ninth fret of string three. Seventh fret of string three and then ninth fret of string four. Then I'm going back to the one chord starting from the F sharp at the ninth fret of string five. And then I'm gonna do my last turnaround. So once I play that, uh, that B chord starting from the F sharp, patterns over there but then I'm just gonna roll the ring finger back to string four and play frets nine seven and then fret nine on string five and then a whole bunch of eighth notes on this F sharp two and three and four and one then I hit my chords all right, so to put it all together, I'm just gonna do a playthrough. So originally it was at 150, so I'm gonna do this at, um, I don't know, half speed, which would be 75 beats per minute. Three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, That's really that song in a nutshell. If you want to play along to the full speed, go back to the beginning of the video. If you want to play at three quarters speed, go back to the beginning of the video and choose the three quarters speed function on YouTube. Um, but that's it for now. Have fun with that one and come see me again for the next video or another video.